So as you guys know, I am a graphic designer and I just recently moved to Charlotte, North Carolina and I'm currently getting ready to go to a networking event in this city. This might be my very first networking event in Charlotte. Not only did I want to move out here just to move out here, but I did want to, you know, network with other people. Like I'm a creator, so obviously I need to be in those rooms to meet new people and I can't do that while being inside all the time. As much of a homebody that I am, that's just not what I need to be doing. I would be doing myself a disservice by being inside all the time. I currently have a full-time role within my field, which I'm very thankful for, but I also like to do freelance on the side not only because I need to make extra money, but also I like to expand on my skills. I do work in the sports industry, but I don't want to just be skilled in sport. Networking will help me tremendously because when people think of a graphic designer, hopefully they'll think of, oh, Mariah, she does graphic design. Um, let me reach out to her and see if she'll be able to take on this project. I just encourage anyone in the creative field to go to different networking events. The one that I'm going to today is specifically a branding event, which is really good because I am looking to rebrand my brand. Um, I do want to update my portfolio and I want to have a better way that I can service my clients and what better way than to brush up on some skills and learn some new things than to go to a branding networking event. So not only will I be able to meet new people, but I'm also learning some new things for free. Knowledge is power. Now, something that is helping me with going outside is I will not be alone. I will be there with a girl that I guess you can say I went to Winthrop with. If you didn't know, I went to Winthrop um, my first two years of school. I didn't talk to her at school, but you know, mutual friends, you just know each other. And we both worked for Columbia Fashion Week in the creative department. So she'll be coming up here and we'll be meeting each other and going to the event with each other. I am kind of nervous, but I am kind of nervous. But like I said, I did not move out here for no reason so I need to get my foot in these doors so my name is brought up in rooms that I'm not even in. I'm creating opportunities for myself while also going outside having a good time and learning new things which I'm really excited about. Is my makeup blending? That's the question. Y'all, the lighting in my bathroom sucks. It's not gonna be all the time that opportunities are gonna come to you. Sometimes you need to just go outside and go find those opportunities, especially if you're taking a leap on faith and moving to a new city. You can't be scared to do new things. You can't be afraid to go outside. As much as we are afraid to go outside and step outside of our comfort zone, it needs to be done in order to get to that next level. So I will be vlogging while I'm out there. There will be drinks, food, a DJ. Let's see what else do I need to do. I'm over here trying to make sure I don't miss any makeup steps while I talk to y'all. It's just gonna be a good time. If anyone else is interested in any other networking events, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have any networking events, that I should know about and if you're located in Charlotte please let me know about these networking events because I'm trying to be outside this summer I'm trying to grow I'm on crunch time I have like 30 minutes to get out of the house and honestly a lot of people ask me 
why I moved from Columbia to Charlotte? And the answer is pretty simple. I feel like I outgrew the city. I lived in Columbia most of my life and Charlotte wasn't too far or too close to home. So it was just that baby step that I took for my first year outside of college. I took a leap of faith and now we are here and I'm ready for some new projects, some new adventures. So something else that's good to know is you need to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. People that have that hunger, the grind, positive, genuine connections in your community that'll push you to want to do more, learn more, be great at what you do. And I feel like what I just said should be universal. You should want to do that anyway, but if you are a creator, I challenge you to take a break from whatever project you're working on go outside and network with some human beings whether you're a photographer videographer creative director graphic designer go outside side note is anyone else in their natural lash phase me and strip lashes don't get along and i have a problem with picking lash extensions, so those never last for me. I just left the marketing event that was hosted at Weathered Souls. This was my first time going there. And who hosted this actually? So this event was hosted by Branding, Branding Workshop plus Network Social. So if you are in the Charlotte area, if you're in the Charlotte area, make sure that you guys follow this Instagram page because they have events. I don't know how often, but pretty often. I had a really good time. I got to meet some new people, make some new connections, and I look forward to, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, I can work with them in the future. They can work with me in the future, and I just go from there. So I'm really glad that I was able to go outside. This is my first networking event ever in the Charlotte area. I've been to one in Columbia for Columbia Fashion Week because I volunteered for Columbia Fashion Week. But solely for me, living in Charlotte, this is my very first networking event. And I was able to gain some followers on my business Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that I went. And yeah, now I'm about to go home and make some cheeseburgers because I am starving. Oh, Raina looks so beautiful in her graduation pictures. Raina is about to graduate the big nurse not the little one but yeah y'all let me go ahead and get home before it gets dark because i do not like driving at night and i'm getting hungry the longer that i stay out the more that i will be tempted to get some food while i'm outside and i need to get home y'all it is 10 30 p.m and i am making a mess i made some bomb behind cheeseburgers now I did not eat dinner, which is why I'm eating these cheeseburgers. And I also, when I got home, I ended up filming a TikTok for a, well, I shouldn't even say TikTok because it's probably going on YouTube shorts too. I ended up filming a try on haul for my new Gymshark items that I got for their sale. And they you know it was 10 o'clock PM and I started cooking, so. Y'all look at my cheeseburger. This junk looks so good. I'm 
so green. I honestly have no idea what's taking my contacts so long to readjust, but I can hardly see y'all. Anyway, this morning I had to go to Walmart to pick up some things because Mother Nature decided to. I knew she was coming, but I had to re-up on some items. So y'all know what's going on with that. I also picked up some pre slash probiotics from Ollie. I've had this before, but I used a different brand. Ollie's my go-to brand, but I found this cheaper in Walmart rather than getting it on Amazon. So I'm excited to try this. Needed some more floss, so I got that. And some Tylenol for you know why. It's currently 10.54 a.m. I am going down to Columbia today because my brother is shooting a music video and I am gonna get some behind the scenes content. I also wanna start learning how to do, I wanna brush up on my editing skills. With the behind the scenes content, I wanna try to make some highlight reels that just look fun, quick 30 second highlight reels with the behind the scenes content and just behind the scenes in general. And I'm bringing you guys along with me, so. I went to the gym this morning. I almost died. It felt like I was about to die. I didn't go yesterday because mother nature and I just could not move. Y'all see that heart rate? I'm about to get in the shower. I'm about to shower, eat breakfast, and get my stuff together so we can hit the road. I already have my drone on the charger. I just need to charge some batteries for my camera and then we should be good to go. Already starting. Anybody got some scissors? This is what happens. We have a flat tire. So my brother is helping me change the flat tire. Goodness gracious. It's always something. Hi, Cody. It's hot. I should have told you to bring my shoes. I gotta go home. Dang. If y'all want to, y'all can stay here. I can come with me. I don't know if I could just take one of y'all's cars. You can take one. This is lame, man. Cody's checking my tire pressure because my car told me I have a low tire pressure. Is it that one? It's at like 28. Dang! But we made it to Cassius's video shoot. Um, it's supposed to start. At, it's supposed to start at four, but we probably won't start till four thirty. What kind of food is in there? I heard Demi and them might come, but I doubt it. Here? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Psh. That's what I heard. I heard they might. When did you hear that? Earlier today from Cash. I wish somebody would have told me, cause I'm not spending night. Oh. He's at home. Yeah, it's not happening. I knew you weren't. I knew you weren't coming, Demetrius. Hi, Aunt Gina. I was gonna come if CJ was gonna come. Cause he's always like, I was gonna come if CJ was gonna come because I don't want to drive the whole three hours. But, but CJ being lame. He told people. He told people about it literally today. Like we like we got like we could just drop everything. I found out about it yesterday. Wow. All I saw was that orange room, and I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> we came to Discount Tire really quickly so they can patch the tire and fill it up with some air. And then we're going to bring the tire back to where we're shooting the music video. And he should be good to go once the music video is over. Now we're late, late because it's 4.22. We were supposed to start at 4. I'm behind the camera. I'm, I'm behind the camera. I'm not getting in the video. Mr. Mr. Dance, Dance, Idiot, 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 Nico de Gallo. Dirty South, Dirty, Dirty, Can y'all really feel me? Feel the East Coast, Feel the West Coast, Feel the uh -huh. Dirty South, Dirty, Dirty, Dirty. When are they gonna do something? Okay. Wait, 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 back up. Back up a little bit more. 
Uh, now what? Uh, yeah, I was gonna do like a panorama. Bro. <laughs> Y'all, I'm at TJ Maxx. I need some sports bras. And if I can find anything else that I may need to add into my wardrobe, I shall grab it. Y'all like these sports bras, but they just feel very thick. Like, why? It's just too much going on on the bottom. Y'all, I'm looking at these sports bras, but the sports bras that I like are only, ooh, that hurt my ears. The sports bras that I like are only in um small or large. I just need a good medium. There's a three packet that I saw. This right here, like something like this, will work really good. This is $19.99, but it only comes in small. I also like this one, small, $19.99, three pack, would have been perfect. Y'all, I'm inside of bras. They don't have any sports bras, but I ended up getting this um, Nike workout top and then this two piece set, not even a two piece set, but two tank tops. They cleaned this store out today. This joint looks so messed up. Like, why are there clothes? Oh, there's a cart. This is a hot mess. It's Have you seen stupid. black water before? That's weird. Sweet frog. It's time to end the vlog. But I did want to tell y'all how much this stuff that I got from Ross was. I'm really disappointed that I was not able to find any sports bras. So the Nike top that I showed you guys earlier, this one right here, was $12.99. And then this two, these two shirts were... <clears throat> $8.99, which I thought was really good. And the last thing that I got was this St. Ives thing. I can't, I can't see if y'all can see it because my contacts have been messing up. But I got this scent right here. It smells really good. I'm about to start this oven because this pizza is going in the oven and that's my dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next week.